What's up, YouTube? I'm uh, I got my garage back so I can start making stuff again regularly. Uh, I made a little project and uh, I think you guys might take a buck. I made a little project and I think you guys might like it. Check it out. Fucking motherfucker. Alright, there it is. Little DIY smoke machine to uh, test my snorkels out on my Ranger and my Sportsman. Pretty simple to make. I'll do the whole how to thing, uh, show you how to make it. Pretty simple, pretty effective. Disclaimer though, this is not a professional rig. Go see somebody that has a professional rig and get it tested first. And then maybe use something like this to. Uh, maybe maintain or check for it in between rides just every once in a while get your uh, ship professionally done uh, I just left Jacksonville Florida Mylon Nelson with uh, my tech smoke testing he's a good dude very cool he's actually cruises around uh, Hogwaller and other parts around North Florida and uh, performs smoke testing on your snorkels I can't remember what it cost off the top of my head, but he's got a very nice setup, very professional. He's got the right tools for the job and he knows what he's doing. So hit him up. This is not for that. This is for just, just some uh, peace of mind. Get it done professionally. If you're in uh, C. Milan Nelson at my tech, uh, if you're, that's in, if you're in North Florida, I'm back in Texas now. So, uh, Hopefully I'll gain some more Texas subscribers if I didn't lose them already uh, But if you're in North Texas see uh, my boy Ricky Robbie over at uh, PTX power sports uh, My buddy mud beaner Osvaldo Ozzy over at DFW ATV Sean Mahoney Over at chaos off-road or uh, Ricardo over at Seagullville power sports uh, Any of those guys they all got the right tools and uh, we'll do the professional job the way it's supposed to be done. See those guys first before you do this. Please. Disclaimer. Don't do this. <laughs> this is just for uh, peace of mind and uh, just to give you a, a jumping point, a starting point. Uh, or maybe you're not very mechanically inclined. Go see those guys. I can't stress enough. Go see those guys and get it professionally done. All that being said, here is how I made it. All right, I'm gonna make this uh, DIY smoke tester, smoke test machine, smoke tester, whatever you want to call it, um, to smoke test my snorkels on my ATVs. Basic stuff you'll need. Uh, it, let's just go down the list. Alligator clips. I got those from this old shitty battery charger from Harbor Freight. Doesn't work anymore. I'll cut these off. Another source for these is a battery tender from Harbor Freight. They don't work worth a shit, but they're only $4. So right there, pretty good source for those. Uh, some terminal connectors. Right here. Right there, you get those Harbor Freight, hardware store, anywhere. Some wire. Uh, four inch flange nut right there. Four inch cap. And four inch plug. PVC glue. Uh, some E6000 or silicone or something like that. Uh, nuts and bolts, which I have already. Hose, some air chucks, and uh, the hose, make sure whatever air chucks you have, the hose will fit over. And I bought some uh, stoppers or drain test caps or whatever they are. I don't know how well those work, so we'll see. Most of this stuff I already had laying around. Uh, look in your garage. I had most of this shit laying around. I bought 
PVC, the PVC, the hose, and uh, the air trucks in this wire. Pretty much everything else I had laying around. This is from past historical projects. I got that shit all over the place. Uh, those alligator clips I had, the terminal, the uh, end terminals I had, nuts and bolts I had. Look around your garage before you do this. All right, let's get started. All right, air fittings are in, the air chucks. Just drilled the hole. Uh, I used Harbor Freight step drill. Drill the hole, thread the uh, chucks in with that step drill. It'll pretty much tighten up as you go. There you have it. Now to drill the holes for the uh, terminal ends. All right, now we're gonna take our T-Torque winch, winch, what the fuck am I saying? Now we're gonna take our Tiki Torque wick, mark it to where it fits down inside there, those two black lines I marked, and then we're gonna bend it at 90 degrees. In theory, we're gonna bend it at 90 degrees. It should fit similar to that. See how it's bent? Now I got that wire wrapped around my wick. We're gonna take the two wire ends and wrap it around the screws. Now you see, bolts are through. Wick is in, wires wrapped around the wick. Now for the alligator clamps. All right, got the alligator clips hooked up. Wick is in there. Wires on the wick, it's attached to those two posts. Now let's do the air hose. All right, everything's all done. Let's see if these torquey, torquey. Fuck, try saying this thing. Three times straight. Tiki Torque Wick. Man, I've been messing it up this whole video. You don't know how much I've edited out of it already. Anyways, I found these in my shed. I don't know how good they are. I'm going to see. Here is the, uh, what you're going to use for oil. Baby oil. Cheapest you can find. Let's see if it works. I uh, made a little handle out of a U-bolt, and then I filled the holes with E6000. Hopefully that holds. Let's see. All right, see it's already going. Hook to the battery in my Ranger. You can see it's smoking pretty good. Now let's hook some air up to it. <laughs> that needs some work. All right. Well, note to self and all you others, don't go crazy on the baby oil. <laughs> that thing sprayed out of there like crazy. Spilt it everywhere. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. All right. I think I got the tweaks worked out. Uh, I wrapped this cap and Teflon tape 
that was a couple cents is less than a dollar at Home Depot if you don't have it laying around uh, a huge thing is that you don't want to run this thing on too much air pressure that's, that's a big reason why that oil sprayed everywhere I can't get my pancake uh, compressor to regulate down to uh, you really need it no more than 3 psi or even less <clears throat> I can't get my pancake compressor to regulate down that far uh, I tried a uh, 12 volt air pump that you would carry in your car I couldn't get that thing down that far either uh, if you have a regulator laying around a low pressure one you can screw that on there somewhere uh, but what I used and worked is one of these uh, to fill up pool inflatables or air mattress or something pretty easy it's like half a psi or less or one psi or less I think this one's half I think I looked it up and it was like 0.54 psi or something so and that thing worked pretty good I looked uh, all over for a uh, rubber plug to block up the snorkels uh, these test caps here they'd fit if if it were uh, flat you know but mine's cut at a bevel or an angle however you want to say it and uh, it won't you can see that I don't know if you can see that but it does not go up in there tight well it goes up tight but it won't it's not airtight So my solution was, went to the Dollar Tree, got this little foam football, and uh, cut one in half. Now I got half here to stuff up, like in the belt box that I'm not testing, or the belt, uh, belt box obviously has two. So the one I'm not testing, I think that is the exhaust. And then the other one, I stuck on the end of my hose, like so. Drilled a hole through it, like so. All right, smoke is going. Let's turn on the uh, air hose and see what happens now, or the air pump. As you can see, not totally perfect. Not all the way sealed around there, but it's pretty good. About as close as I'm gonna get with this rig. Let's hook it up and see what happens. All right, that's up there. Both are installed. This is the first time I'm doing this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's see. Well, I sleep in like a shed. I need some more. Let me tweak this right quick. All right, ladies and germs. I think we got the solution there. Uh, two inch Fernco coupling, rubber coupling, that I had to boil a little bit to soften up that end to fit over the end of my snorkel there. Uh, and then I took a uh, valve stem, drilled a hole into these end caps here. These are just a couple cents. That's like less than a dollar, and this is like three dollars. And then uh, hook the air hose up to it. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh, see here, a little bit of leak right there,
tighten that hose clamp up. Good to go. None coming from my belt box. That's uh, Jody at uh, TCP put that together for me when he installed my clutch kit, so good job, Jody. Up. It doesn't look like this slow going through there, but it definitely is. I just I took it off while it was running just to make sure and it's full smoke. common uh, duckbill drains right there very common to leak I got mine filled with silicone air back air box is holding good Not bad. I feel lots better about my Ranger now. Well, the snorkels on my Ranger. It's still, it's still uh, looking like this giant pile of turd right here. Anyhow, all right. All said and done, what I would have done differently is uh, I would have not have used this threaded cap. I would have just used a uh, coupler or cut actually I think just cut this part off made it a little bit taller cut this part off and uh, used one of these with a nice tight rubber seal on the top of the coupler uh, also I don't know about baby oil I mean it worked don't get me wrong that worked It worked just fine, but uh, I know you guys probably work them too. I used to work with a bunch of idiots I sat around jacking each other off about how much, uh, how big of a vape cloud they could blow out their assholes or whatever with their stupid vape pens. That fruity pebble fucking unicorn piss or whatever the fuck they put in those things would be, I think I would enjoy that more than burnt baby oil. This shit stinks, that baby oil. So. Fruity Pebbles probably smell better. I don't know how expensive that vape juice is, but uh, if you can get your hands on that, use that because it's stinking up my house. This baby oil shit. Uh, what else? What else? I would have put some uh, O-rings or sealed off these terminals better. I would not have used E6000. I would have used uh, RTV. That's about it, really. Made this a little bit taller. Used a coupler with the, this here. 
the vape juice if you can get your hands on that i know uh, people say mineral oil or baby oil works fine it's probably the cheapest option but it smells like shit my whole garage smells up right now these this worked perfect with two inch fernco's with the uh, end caps i boiled these to make them fit over a two inch coupler Uh, that worked perfect worked great actually um, if you can get a low pressure regulator or use one of those inflators like I had all in all though I think I probably have less than $30 on this it's probably a bunch of things that I didn't do right or I could have done better I damn sure know there's some things I could have done better. I've never smoke tested a machine before, so that was my first time to ever do that. Uh, tell me what you guys think. I, I'm not a huge fan of doing how-to videos just because it makes simple things that much harder to stop what I'm doing, make sure the camera's right, all that stuff. Uh, but tell me what you think. Did you like this video? If I can improve this somehow, let me know down below. If you got a better plan or a better idea how to do it, let me know. Drop it down below. Just uh, give me some feedback, that's all. Uh, give it a like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. That he, that helps out uh, pretty big. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope I can help somebody. Bonus video for you guys. I know some of y'all out there that are uh, cheaper than me and uh, this might work too it takes a little while pickle jar four dollar uh, soldering iron from Harbor Freight and uh, a big pen sealed in there and then I took some washcloths soaked them in baby oil pretty easy I don't know how it took a, it took a minute to fill that jar up with smoke let's see how it is when I uh, Turn the uh, inflator on. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know that I would use that because I know I would break that glass. But uh, it could probably be made better too. Anyways, man, I've seen in my research, I've seen guys make them out of jars, out of ammo cans, out of paint cans, coffee cans, anything that you could seal up. Just all it needs is a power source and holes for tubes. Pretty simple. But still can't stress enough, go see a professional. Don't do this for the first time. Go see a professional for the first time. Get it done right and then uh, use this as like a checkup type deal. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.